Hey guys, welcome back in this new video. So today's video is going to be very, very interesting. If you ever wanted to run Wadroid on your NVIDIA computer, well, you always knew that you couldn't because NVIDIA didn't support Wayland properly. And so you probably wouldn't even be able to run Wayland. Imagine Wadroid. But now that NVIDIA does work well on Wayland, I thought to myself, well, let's try Wadroid. And what I've discovered is crazy. So nobody has talked about this, but Wadroid now actually works with NVIDIA GPUs. Like actually you can actually use the proprietary driver. And yeah, Wadroid will work with the proprietary drivers and Wayland, of course. And for the most part, it works extremely, extremely well. So how do you install Wadroid? It's a bit complicated. It's not too complicated. I am on CacheOS right now and I had to install Wadroid from the official uh, repositories. You can also go to their like website, the official Wadroid website to see the guide for every like major distro. But if I search Wadroid on CacheOS, as you can see, it's in the repos of CacheOS. So I've installed Wadroid and then I've also installed uh, uh, Wadroid image gaps. Okay, from the AUR, so it had to be built. And after it was built, I had to go into the Wadroid official websites and here down there where it says follow the install instructions, I clicked on docs, then I selected Arch Linux. Then I have scrolled down here and I had to find this command, which was uh, Wadroid session start. But what I suggest you, if you want to see like Wadroid, is to not put this command into the terminal, but you want to put this command, which is Wadroid show full UI. And what this will do is it will launch Wadroid with a graphical user interface. So you will see Wadroid, really. And if you want to stop Wadroid, instead of putting into the terminal Wadroid session start, you put into the terminal Wadroid session stop, okay? And with that, you will close Wadroid. And if you want to launch Wadroid again, just put Wadroid show full UI this command into the terminal and it will start Wadroid for you. And so once you've done that, you will be greeted with this desktop, okay? This is the Wadroid official desktop, like this is like Lineage OS, which is like a distribution of Android. A custom a custom android version and you will probably not have an internet connection okay so if you want to have internet connection then you go into this link not this one this one and you follow these steps so sudo so wait session stop you follow these commands of course and after you've done that you will have internet on waydroid but the last thing is that if you have installed waydroid waydroid with the google applications then you also need to go here and certify the device because by default it's not certified and you just have to follow this guide it is extremely extremely simple and after you've done that it will take you like two minutes three minutes you're ready to install applications on wadroid and use them and so here we are look we are on wadroid with uh, nvidia and proprietary drivers and honestly it works pretty pretty well and the cool thing about this is that it's not using software rendering because uh, if you want to enable software rendering then you need to copy these uh, values right here, paste them into properties, and then run this command, and then restart Wadroid. But at the same time, as you can see, I've not done any of that, and Wadroid just worked. So it's really not using software rendering. But at the same time, this doesn't seem to be fully GPU accelerated with NVIDIA. On AMD it is, I've tried it on another computer with an AMD GPU, and it runs fine. And here it runs fine too, but not on 3D games. On 3D games, uh, it doesn't seem to be fully GPU accelerated. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. But at the same time, you can watch videos like up to 4K, 8K, like how, how much your like GPU supports, right? And it doesn't matter if you're using the browser or like the YouTube application. I'm going to show you an example right here. Open Opera GX. I'm already here and I can like watch this 4K video pretty chill and not get any dropped frames. It's already on 4K. Look, like, <laughs> it's that easy, like, I'm, and, look, look at this, okay, so it's using the CPU uh, a lot, right, but this is also because it's, like, you know, uh, screen recording the video, but it's also using the GPU a little bit, not a lot, but, you know, it doesn't need to use a lot, but this is using a lot of the CPU, right, but as you can see, if I pause the video, now the video is paused, you can see that the GPU utilization also drops, like, as you can see, the CPU utilization drops and the GPU utilization drops too, right? So it was using the GPU a little, right? It was also using a lot of the CPU, but it was also using a lot of the 
not really a lot, but it was doing the GPU, like you can see the moment I've posted the video, how much it dropped the utilization. So yeah, it was using the GPU. And honestly, watching videos on Waydroid right now, it's like good, actually, it's actually good. And I can also open the YouTube app and it's the exact same thing. Uh, let me find a video. So look at this. It should be already at, okay, let me put it at 1080p. We are on the official YouTube app right here, as you can see. And it is running fine. As you can see here, it is using way less CPU power than the browser. And also it's using the GPU. As you can see, that's the moment that I've started the video. So yeah, uh, you can clearly see that the GPU is being utilized too. It's not like only the CPU. Because I, as I've told you, this is not software rendering. It's not running on software rendering which is really cool. And now I'm going to show you where we have some problems, like the only issue that we have with WageDroid and NVIDIA at, the sa at this moment. Like if I want to play Clash of Clans, for example, which is like a 2D game, and it's not really consuming in terms of uh, like hardware, right? This, is, this runs perfectly fine. Like this is 144 Hertz in my monitor. And yeah, it runs perfectly honestly like as you can see it's there's no lag there's no frame drop it's it's perfectly fine and it's using as you can see both the gpu and the cpu you can clearly see the moment where i've started the game like you can see it in the gpu graph and in the cpu graph too and here for these like low level 2d games it works perfectly fine but the moment i want to run some 3d games like on Roblox, for example, if I boot up this Broken Bones game, just a random game, then as you can see here, it's starting to struggle. Like, look at the frame rate. Look at how bad this is. Okay, on an AMD GPU, this is fine. Okay, the frame rate is perfect. Like, there's no... It's not laggy like this. And as you can, cl you can clearly see, there is an issue here. Like, aside from the texture, just the, in terms of performance, right? There is clearly an issue. And if I show you this, as you can see, it's using very little of the GPU, and it's using a lot of the CPU. Like, we are an, a, at 96 degrees, like, this is crazy. Like, I'm burning literally my CPU. So, and the, and the GPU utilization is very low. Like, as you can see, it's, it looks like it's barely using it. But for the videos, it was using it. Like, it was like a 20-30% for the videos, and now it's not using it at all, from what it looks like, right? And so, yeah, this is the issue. This is the only issue I've encountered, really, on Waydroid with NVIDIA. And it's good that it now runs, right? Honestly, you don't need to run Roblox on Waydroid because there is Sober. But if you want to run some other 3D games, then you might have some problems. And now I'm going to show you what I've done, which is a bug report on the official NVIDIA developer forum. And I've just done this bug report right here. And I'm going to leave a link in the description for this if you want to contribute to this bug report and help the NVIDIA developers to debug this and like solve this issue. So if you want to help contribute, this is the bug report I've made. And so, yes, I would really appreciate it if you want to contribute to this bug report. The more we are, the better. And in this bug report, I will basically explain to you what I've already explained to you in this video. And that's about it. As you can see, it works. Waydroid with NVIDIA now works. And the only issue is that when it comes to 3D games, it doesn't seem to be using this, the GPU. But when it comes to everything else, it is using the GPU. And that's like weird. And so that's why I've made the bug report. So that was it for today's video. And please leave a like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.